Been around the world, wrote a million songs. What a lyric. And what history in this song. It's like pre-Jeff and pre-Stone as actual Jeff and Stone. You know what I mean. Anyways, we're doing This Is Shangri-La for Pedro Russo, Apocalypse. I haven't said that name in a long time. Mentos and Mateo, one, two, three. It's Saturday morning. I'm waking up. This is pre-breakfast. This is how committed I am to you folks. Just kidding. I was irresponsible yesterday. I went golfing by accident. Anyways, here we go. Seventh fret of the A string, ninth fret of the G string, octave chords. Here is this, this crazy riff that sounds like a party that you can see into, and you're invited. You just haven't gone in yet. And here we go into the party. Ready? So when you do this octave chord, of course, this is two E's, A string, seventh fret, and G string, ninth fret, you're muting everything but the A and the G string. <laughs> So you can awesomely strum away rather than worry about what you're hitting, right? And that's how it starts. 7-7. Seven, seven. Then 9-9-10. Nine, nine, it's a slide up to 10. And then we're going to employ a technique during which you strum, slide, and then strum two more times. So four S's. Ready? 10 to 12. Strum, slide, strum, strum. So you do that from 10 to 12, 12 to 10, 10 to 9, and then just back to Regulersville, 10, 9. So here's the first half of our riff, ready? And that's the beginning of the second half, but I keep messing up the second half, so I'm going to break, don't move. Yeah, so the second half starts the same, 7-7, seven, seven, goes up the same, but then we're going to do the 4-S technique and go from 10 to 9, 9 to 7, 7 to 5, and then finish out the rest of the time that you have on that, that D. That's E's minor 7. That's how we know that the E's minor, which makes the chord progression implied or what Jeff plays, plus some stuff, as E minor, C, G, E minor, C, D. While all that madness is going on, so if you have an acoustic guitar player in your band, that's what he would play for the intro. Ready? And there it is. So notice how my right hand is just kind of going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then when you hit, when you have the notes that you want, you press down. And otherwise, you get a bunch of noises. So real slow, it's like. this on autopilot and just do the thing with this I don't think we have to go through it like okay first you go and then ch -ch, and then another and then ch -ch -ch. like we don't have to like do it out if you have the rhythm and if you just do it your right hand will just do the right thing so long as you just keep doing this with it try it that way all right next part don't move E minors, E minors and making noise. That's that's the verse. I'm not gonna give you a very specific prescription, but I will say here's one E minor you can do. A7, D9, G9, B8. Give it a strum. You can have the open E string here too. Go down. Make some noise. Make some noise. You can do this E minor here on the D, G, B strings 12. Kind of throw that in between. You can slide up to the next time you do the E minor again. I'm been around the world. Right, just make some E minor noise, but then that cool wham bam, wham bam is G14. Bend it. G12. There's two octaves going on there. You can't do them both at the same time. Someone else is going. You know, that might not be the string in the fret, but those are the notes when that's happening. But if you want to kind of make the illusion of 
more notes happening, you can grab your G14 and your B12 as well, like that. Two becomes one style, that's what I call that move. And then down to 12-12. Yeah, but anyways, uh, so it's E minor, make some noise, E minor again, then you got your, and another set of it, and this time instead of boom, boom, it's octaves again, 10th fret, G, 10, 9, 7, 5. Then it goes through it again, except the second time, instead of 10, 9, 7, 5, it's 10, 9, 10, 12, 10, 9. Yeah, and that's the verse. All right, don't move. All right, so the bridge, the chord progression finally changes from what it was to A, G. And Stone deals with it thusly. He takes his regular E minor pentatonic, which would be 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15, and he changes these two 15s to 14. So when the band plays A, you can hit like 14 on the D, G, B, and E strings. Use your ring finger. Do a messy slide. This whole thing's supposed to be messy and and crazy, so just be messy and crazy. 14s, and then we're gonna switch between 14s and 12s. But when you return to 14 after a 12, you wanna hear more of the D string, so it sounds like, but you still hear everything else. And then you can kinda, on the 12s, and then we want a B13 and an E12. And that's that really high note you got. So you got like. See what I did there? I did stuff and then 12s ended with that. And otherwise, you can just kind of mess around with your minor pentatonic scale after doing your. So that was, you know, it would normally be 15B and 14G, but we made them both 14. And went, landed down there on 12. That's fun to do. It's like this song. Which we need to do. We're going to put it under guilty pleasure fun songs. All right, that's it for the bridge. Uh, be right back. And the solo's in regular old E minor pentatonic. So change your 14s back to 15s on the baby strings. And do whatever you want there. Yeah, I have a tremendous amount of deference for this song. Humble submission and respect. Um, so I'm glad we finally got to do it. I had it on my mind for like a year. I don't know what, what took so long. I think I was a little bit daunted by the explanation of just a bunch of E minor noise with some, with some noise. But yeah, anyways, I think if I could go back to any time in rock and roll history, I would go to a Mother Love Bone show. I think that would be just completely unbelievable. We have uh, a friend here with us, one of the subscribers, who has been to a Mother Love Bone show. So, oh my God, jaws on the floor. I don't remember who it was. I think we had this conversation like a year ago. So raise your hand out there and um, tell us your story, if you would. Put it in a video. We'll, we'll all watch it. You can just ramble on. Grab some Batman coffee. All right, we've done it. This is Shangri-La, Mother Love Bone, and I will see you. I'll see you tomorrow for the live stream. And don't worry, I'm going to post a video that says the live stream today. Woohoo, because it's been two weeks, and that was so much fun, and that's all from me. Have a great Saturday, everybody. Thank you for being here. See you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.